Welcome to This Just In, a weekly news show highlighting the people and events in Newport News Public Schools, where partnerships with universities, local museums, and national organizations open up amazing scientific explorations for our students. Newport News students are assisting Christopher Newport University as they transform the fear of climate change into hope founded on science-based solutions. With rising sea levels, deforestation of the Atlantic white cedar, and the formation of ghost forests as biodiverse coastal ecosystems die off, CNU's Fear to Hope project is focused on engaging and mentoring high school students in authentic research efforts to study how Atlantic white cedar saplings are affected by salt water. By working alongside high school students in five different school systems, CNU hopes to increase their ability to collect research data while empowering students to gain valuable workplace skills. In Newport News Public Schools, an achievable dream is continuing their partnership that began in 2021, while Woodside High School is joining the project for the first time this school year. CNU biology students visit each high school throughout the school year to explain the purpose of their joint research project, engage the students in the process, and record measurements as the seedlings grow. Once the Atlantic white cedars adjusted to their transplanting, the students began introducing different concentrations of salt water to simulate the rise of ocean waters. Students measure the growth and appearance of the seedlings periodically to see how well they respond to salt intrusion. By collecting this data at numerous high schools, students are gaining real-world experience through meaningful research while using the scientific method to better understand the resiliency of coastal forests against the negative effects of climate change. <laughs> students at Heinz Middle School are learning to eat smart by growing and harvesting their own healthy food. Heinz received a Garden to Go mini grant, which is provided by the Virginia Family Nutrition Program. Offered through Virginia Cooperative Extension, which is an educational outreach partnership between Virginia Tech and Virginia State University, the Family Nutrition Program focuses on basic nutrition, increased access to fresh vegetables, physical activity, and thrifty food shopping practices. The funding provided Heinz classrooms with grow bags, soil, seeds, and instructions for growing and transplanting vegetables. But Heinz decided to put a scientific spin on their healthy initiative by comparing how plants grow outdoors in natural sunlight to plants grown indoors under artificial grow lights. Master gardeners volunteered their time to help the students get their vegetables started and kindly donated seeds and plants to the cause. Joan Rodriguez's sixth grade tag English students planted their leafy greens outdoors among the school's thriving pollinator garden, while Teresa Redden's eighth grade science students grew their plants in a more controlled environment under grow lights. Both classes planted a variety of cool weather leafy greens, including lettuce, kale, spinach, rainbow chard, and herbs. Each week, students in both classes recorded observations about the plant growth and collected exact data about the height and water distribution. Students noticed that the plants outdoors were fuller, while the indoor plants grew taller and thinner as they reached towards the artificial light source. The indoor plants weren't prone to pests chewing on the leaves while the English students had to use their problem-solving skills to protect their outdoor vegetables after a family of deer feasted on their bounty. In late fall, the classes were able to harvest and clean their vegetables. Both classes held salad parties, celebrating their personal farm-to-table experience. Students were amazed how the ingredients they grew had more flavor and freshness than anything they've bought from the grocery store and took great pride in their efforts to grow such a delicious and healthy buffet. Many students look forward to growing their own food at home, harnessing the environmental literacy and scientific knowledge gained through the Garden to Go grant. <laughs> High school students are soaking up a wealth of scientific knowledge while diving into a meaningful watershed educational experience. 
Newport News Public Schools has continued their partnership with Mariner's Museum, James River Association, Christopher Newport University, and Old Dominion University to work on an innovative environmental education program funded by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association called Be Wet, a fitting acronym for Bay Watershed Education and Training. Last school year was the first year for the Be Wet partnership, with freshmen at Minchville and Warwick High Schools participating in the restoration activities at Mariner's Lake. This school year, the hands-on learning experiences have expanded to include all Newport News High School students taking biology during the first semester. In the fall, schools took turns visiting Mariner's Lake within the Chesapeake Bay watershed. 1,400 students brought with them native eelgrass they had been growing in a controlled environment in their classrooms. By transplanting over 700 eelgrass along the shoreline of the lake, the Mariner's Environmental Co-op is hoping to improve water quality and increase the health of the lake for future generations. Students also conducted water quality tests and rotated to different learning stations to better understand the nature of the Chesapeake Bay watershed. Weeks later, educators from Mariner's Museum followed up with the involved students by deciphering the data collected on site and used VR devices to explore sea life up close. Through this ongoing partnership, Be Wet is empowering students to use scientific knowledge and environmental exploration as they become responsible stewards to protect the fragile watershed. Newport News Public Schools has partnered with Hometown Ticketing to offer cashless ticket purchasing to select high school athletic events. Download the Hometown Fan app available for both iOS and Android devices to purchase and store your digital tickets. Cash sales and tickets will no longer be sold at the door for basketball and wrestling this winter athletic season. So make sure you purchase in advance before your favorite high school sporting event sells out. When it's determined that schools will be closed or delayed in opening, the school system will make the announcements as early as possible. In case of inclement weather, please remember that a decision to close or delay the opening of schools cannot be made on the basis of a forecast alone. Conditions must be evaluated. Transportation personnel drive the streets starting at about 4 a.m. to determine safety conditions. The goal is to make a final decision by 6 a.m. so that local television and radio stations can make the announcement. For the most reliable and timely information, please check the information line at 757-283-7810, the administration office at 757-591-4500, the Newport News Public Schools website at nnschools.org, or NNPSTV on Cox 47 and Verizon Fio 17, as well as Roku and Apple TV. You can also follow NNPS on Facebook and Twitter and the school system's families and staff will also receive notification through the telephone communication system. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of This Just In, and check out more fun and informative videos at nnpstv.com to see the many great things happening in Newport News Public Schools. Thanks for watching. <laughs>